Okay. Um, this is the uh, Grove Park tank. Uh, it's a 155 gallon, uh, 155,000 gallon tank uh, cylinder. And uh, we've got almost all our uh, rigging up for the containment system. And uh, we, it's a 20 foot in diameter tank. So we needed 10 units up there to give us six foot off the tank. So when we contain it, we have enough room to work, sandblast and coat the outside. Now we've already done the inside. So I wanted to show you guys, um, today is um, the, uh, uh, today is the 8th, the 8th of, uh, 8th of July, and, uh, the inside of the tank is completed, except the ladder, there's a couple touch-up, but other than that, all four coating applications have been, uh, applied, and, uh, KUB and, uh, ECS has done their measurements, and everything looks good, our average is 18.7 across the board. Uh, which is perfect as far as our finished product, but I wanted to show you what we're doing here I know it looks like a mess, but it's actually organized They're just very tight area uh, That's the dust collector right there And we're using a 71 ratio pump and just miscellaneous, you know equipment that we need uh, those are the rigs up there and they uh, this is a TP style rigging unit uh, as far as uh, cables as far as holding uh, the uh, containment curtain up which is made out of uh, car bag canvas um, we have these screws here and then you have the T that connects the poles just like a curtain rod and then every 10 feet and then we'll lift up and then it'll secure and contain all the environment EPA regulations as far as containment on the outside of this tank um, right now here let's step over here uh, that's our blast unit and they're working right now getting the units up this is the uh, the new 30 inch door manway that was put in. See how it's hinged up? Beautiful, beautiful welding on the welder side. Um, they did this uh, last week. Uh, last week they uh, installed this. All right, and so we're gonna sandblast and coat it. So let's go on the inside. All right. This is the inside of the tank. Uh, this is a, uh, a clip for a snatch block so we can pull the containment up. That's Josh, that's Josh right there. Josh is going up to just touch up the ladder. We still got our cables in here, but we're gonna pull these out. And it just looks really solid. I'll try to get close so you can see. And this is N140. As far as our top coat, Hydro Zinc for primer. Uh, we used uh, 94 Hydro Zinc N140 uh, primer, uh, stripe coat, intermediate coat, and top coat. And the inside of this tank came out beautiful. It's, uh, I mean, you can see it, it's nice and smooth. Well, it seems to look really good. Uh, definitely went uh, above and beyond to make sure that uh, this project quality control on this project is uh, within the specification and uh, 
and you can just get an idea it's 70 foot tall up there and he's just doing touch-ups on the ladder and uh, and now we have two man ways that's the old one that's 24 inches and then this one over here is 30 now we have a 30 inch man way so and you come out That hinge looks very good. You can actually swing this door. Uh, you can open it. Uh, here, let me get it. Uh, it's heavy. Woo! Man, it's heavy. But basically, it will swing. Um, so two guys can um, uh, put it back in place and seal her up. So, and then the top... We got a rig set every 10 feet. It looks n nice and even. And uh, we should have our curtain up by tomorrow and sandblasting either tomorrow or the next day. We'll be sandblasting. So that's our video log. That's our video log for today. Um, it's, uh, it's, job's going good. Uh, it's, uh, it's been tough as far as uh, as far as how tight the work area is, but we made it work. Uh, we made it work. Everything looks good on the inside. So now we're gonna start the outside. So, okay.